hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is tandy today we are going to be doing Stuart Lee on a brexit i think this is the brexit versus ukip um clip that has been recommended or at least i hope there's quite a lot that says ukip and quite a lot that says brexit so i don't know um let's have a look This is a very difficult time in history to do stand up, and I would appreciate your blanket support. To be honest, it's very, it's very. You know, look, look. I went back on the road in September. I did a week in Oxford, right? That's Remain. Then I did Doncaster. That's Leave. Then I did Glasgow, Remain, Dartford, Leave. This is about 60-40 in favour of of Leave, wasn't it? And the Remain voting cities now they loom out of the map don't they like fantasy citadels in a Tolkien-esque landscape <laughs> wondrous walled cities full of wizards and poets <laughs> and people who could understand data I think Leeds was from Maine but in the just... middle of a vast swampy fen with here there be trolls written over it <laughs> Yeah, down here, laughter up there. People going, hang on. Troll stew, that's not a very fair way. You know, we are in leave voting South End on Sea. Trolls, that's not a very fair way to describe the English and Welsh majority that exercise their democratic right to vote to leave the EU. And it isn't, to be fair, you know. And I think, look, we're, we're going to leave the EU, that is happening. And I think people have got to put their differences behind them now and try and make it work. And I, and I don't know. If you can make massive generalizations about people that voted to leave Europe anyway, because people voted to leave Europe for all sorts of different reasons, you know. And it wasn't just racists that voted to leave Europe. <laughs> Cunts did as well, didn't they? <laughs> Stupid <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs> Racists uh -huh. and cunts. with legitimate anxieties about ever closer political ties to Europe. <laughs> Dear Palace Theatre South End, please inform the comedian, and I use that word advisedly, <laughs> Stuart Lee, who had the misfortune of being taken along to see my friends last night, that I actually voted to leave Europe, and I am neither a racist nor a cunt. Okay. Merely someone with genuine anxieties about ever closer political ties to Europe. Yours, a cunt. <laughs> Burn them on crouch. That's where they live, isn't it? <laughs> Burn them on crouch. Like, oh, do you know what? I don't know anything about Burn them on crouch. I just what drove through it. I thought that'll do for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a parody it's of the first time it's got a laugh. <laughs> so, yes, welcome to the music hall. So, uh, no, but it's difficult, you know. It's, you, can, I don't, you can't make massive. To be fair, you can't make massive generalisations about about people that voted to leave Europe. People did vote to leave Europe for all sorts of different. They did. Don't snigger away down there. They, voted, <laughs> you know, not everyone that voted to leave Europe wanted to see Britain immediately descend into being an unaccountable single-party state, exploiting people's worst prejudices to maintain power indefinitely. <laughs> Some people just wanted bendy bananas, didn't they? <laughs> oh, no! I only wanted bendy bananas. And now there's this chaotic inferno of hate. <laughs> Well, never mind. It's gone to shit. At least the bananas are all bendy again, aren't they? Well, they always fucking work. I would love to know that bit about bendy bananas. Um, was that a thing that people were saying that, oh, we don't want exported? I don't know. What, what's the reasoning behind the bendy bananas? That... Bananas from abroad are not bendy enough. Oh, you know what? I'm already prepared for the amount of hate that's going to come from <laughs> this video. I have a link for that. This is not the correct one for the Brexit versus Trump. Please just put a link in and then 
I'll have a look at the correct one because there's quite a lot here that say UKIP and also Brexit. And the one that said Brexit versus Trump was like over an hour long. So if you do have um, a clip for a link for the clip, please let me know. I hope to see you in the next one.